I'm back, baby. Hello there, everyone. I'm still sick, so I can't make a video as I would like to, but I did promise you a video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so here we go. Reviewing Doug Nukem is a hard thing to do. Trying to review it as a modern day game just goes right out of the fucking window. Because Duke has always been more of a satire game that was meant to make fun of mainstream gaming the same way you make fun of the slutty girl at school. Sure, you can talk about her in public to keep up her appearance around your friends, but late at night she's always in your bed because there's just something about how she sucks dick. She's your dutch a little secret, and you wouldn't have it any other way. Sadly, that's how I feel about this game. God knows it's not living up to all that development time. The problem with Duke Nukem is that it's not sure what it wants to be. Okay, I may have said that wrong. The problem with Duke Nukem is that it's not sure what the developers wanted it to be since it went through so many. The best way to illustrate this is by comparing old Duke, new Duke, and the advances in technology that we've made. I for one didn't think the graphics were terrible. I thought they were decent. Nowhere near Call of Duty or Battlefield level, but that's definitely passable. The shooting was also decent. When you pop out and cap your little guns at people, they die. That's what's supposed to happen. And if it didn't provide a different look to the types of enemies, I would be kind of serious about it. So, with all that being said, why does Duke Nukem end up failing? Well, simply put, outside of the voice actor, there's nothing that stands out about a Duke Nukem game. Think of it like this. We all know what we're going to get from the next Call of Duty or Battlefield, right? Those games are set on Earth, and you're going to be fighting terrorism in some form or another. The terrorist may be your grandmother, but it's still a fucking terrorist. Alright, now think of the world that Duke Nukem stays in. Inside his super macho manly world, anything is possible. They've already established that. And with that being said, why are we doing the same shit as in other games? Duke Nukem could rip a hole in a space-time continuum, and you wouldn't even bat an eye as he w walked over and gave himself a cigar. Seriously, in this world, it's already established that you can do whatever the fuck you want, so why not explore that? Why are we giving regenerating health like every other gamer and their dog? Why can't Duke heal himself by saying some of the stupid quotes that he says almost constantly? Here's a happy question for you. Why the fuck am I only allowed to carry two guns? Duke can pull weapons out of his ass for all I care. I know why other games sacrifice fun for realism. Fine, I can understand that, but that's just not needed here. Let me outrun cars. Let me fire missiles shaped like penises. Let me catch those same missiles and toss them back for no damn reason. It's not like this is going to take me out of the experience. It's not that the game had expectations for being realistic that were high. It's that the game had expectations for being fun and over the top that were high. Story didn't matter as much as I hate to admit that titties didn't matter. All that mattered was that the fun was there. And then they were allowed to make that fun in any way they deemed possible. But in the end, it seems like between all the developers and the production, that way of thinking was lost, or if it was ever there in the first place. And what it was replaced with was a world and a character with limitless possibilities being given restrictions. Yeah, there are tits. Yeah, there are alien sex. But none of this adds to the fun of the character himself. So the brutal, honest truth of the matter is, there, the game is functional. There aren't any broken mechanics in the game, and there's no reason to say that the game isn't playable. There is fun to be had here, just not as much fun as it could have been, or should have been. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to be in the strip club for the next few hours. It may not be the best game, but it's one hell of a relaxation technique.